Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop with a quick little shop video here. Um, excuse the mess, there's a winch I'm in the process of making for a trailer or attaching to a trailer, I mean. This video is gonna be on calipers for the, for the shop. Now, I'm a smaller shop. Most of the work I do is six inch or less as far as turning, unless I'm shaving down a pump and pellet or something like that. So a lot of it's smaller work, bushings for tractors, hydraulic components, pump parts, you know, stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you the, my go-to uh, calipers. And you really don't have to, especially if you're just starting off, uh, I consider a caliper good to about, you know, if I have to hit something within three, four thou, a caliper is fine. For, you know, tighter tolerances, you should use a micrometer, obviously, and, and I do. So I'm going to show you uh, basically my calipers. Now, I've had these for about three years now, and these are... You know where those came from. I like when they have to put a uh, wear safety goggles warning on their calipers. And these are just a normal dial type. Let me get a standard here. I will say I have good standards. Um, mine are all Mitsutoyo, I think. I had to buy them separately. My caliper. I got all of my... Uh, micrometers off eBay. So uh, for adjusting them, I made sure I had a good set of uh, standards. Let's see, we've got these set for pretty much right on zero there. This is a three inch. See if I can do this. You know, we're pretty much right at three, you know, as accurately as you can read a dial. I'd say we're at, oh, maybe a half thou off over three inches on a set of what? Uh, I think these were $12. Now, I lubed them when I first got them. They weren't the smoothest thing ever. I have another pair that I use for uh, scribing on the lathe, so I don't chowder up the ones I actually measure with. And I've been very happy with them, and especially starting off, you know, uh, depending on your machines, and especially when you're first starting off your ability, you, I'm trying to think of a way to explain this, you can only measure to the tolerances you can machine to. So... If that makes sense. So if you have problems hitting, you know, a thou or two on whatever machine you're using, you know, if you can measure within that, then there you go. So there's those. And I got this uh, cobalt one at a yard sale. I hate the case to it. I like how they, I don't know if you can see this, it's like plastic, fake blue wood grain. So, get this guy open. So, this is a digital caliper. As you can see, we'll turn it on, zero it out, put our three inch standard in there. These ones feel pretty rough too. And in stores, these are like 30 bucks. Let me get down there. So again, let's see if I can set this in there so you can see I'm not clamping it. It's sitting right at three and it's holding the standard in there. I'm gonna just wiggle this a bit so you see it's not clamped in there. See, it falls right out. So there, that's measuring, you know, spot on for pair of $30 uh, calibers. And these are, they're okay. They feel nice. The wheel is terrible. 
absolutely terrible. But other than that, um, they don't shut off automatically. They'll stay on, they'll kill that battery. So uh, here's those. So that could be another option for you. I do. I did have a set of the Harbor Freight digital calipers and and they were they were bad. I will cannot recommend those. They were just awful. It would reset to anywhere within one to three thou. It wouldn't repeat at all. I don't know if it's just the one I got, but then got our Mr. Toyo ones. You can get these off eBay. I got these ones off Craigslist with a bunch of other stuff for really cheap. I will say it is, if you can pick up a good set of used ones, these ones feel, mine always starts there. I don't know if your guys is doing, I gotta zero it out there. But these feel amazing. I mean, it, it is night and day. Let's put the old standard in there. See if I can, this is around, so you see I'm not clamping it, and we're spot on again. So, these are measuring as accurately as the $30 pair and the $12 pair. So, I do use these a lot. I like them. Um, I will say, the battery life between this and the Cobalt is night and day. That Cobalt, for, I don't use it that often, so I don't know if that attributes to the drainage of the battery. But I can leave the battery in these and you know get a year maybe or nine months it's, i don't really keep track of that but those cobalts it seems like they're always dead so i know some of them draw uh battery power when they're off to keep their location i don't know if the cobalt's that way but it seems like every four or five times i go to use it in these batteries then i have and just because they were cheap i got them at yard sales Here's a vernier scale. This is a Craftsman. These ones are a little dirty. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. See, they're, they're spot on. I rarely, oh, rarely use these. Very rarely. But again, they were cheap and I wasn't going to pass them up. This brown and sharp box is a pair of uh, sheer Tomiko verniers that someone modified the box for for some reason. Sheer Tomiko made a lot of the uh, measuring tools that were sold at Sears. These ones feel really nice. It's nice and smooth, has some departments engraving on there. I mean, they're just really nice and smooth. And again, clamped in there. It's pretty much right on the three. And you can pick these up really cheap. So yeah, that's my take on calipers. Um, if you can find a good set cheap, of course, pick them up and keep a good set of standards. But for the accuracy level that I use calipers for, ones I have are uh, more than adequate. I do have these. I just got these recently. I need to get batteries for them. It's a little beat up. It's a NSK. This one takes two batteries. Feels really tight and chunky but i haven't cleaned it or anything yet so i'll get those going and hopefully those will be okay but again yeah for stuff beyond that i use uh micrometers and i'll go over those in a coming up video so again the i guess the lesson of this video is this especially in the caliper range the name brand doesn't seem to really affect it. I mean, I guess digital wise over time, 
I would rely on the Mitsutoyo more than the Cobalt because of the way the reader heads are in them. But, you know, don't get hung up on thinking you need sterrets and stuff, especially for calipers. Again, the accuracy range of a caliper compared to a micrometer, you know, keep that in mind. So I hope this video was helpful for you, especially uh, you guys just starting out. I know the more experienced people will either totally say, no, the stuff I have is garbage or whatever, but I make a lot of machining parts. I machine a lot of stuff for people. Never had any tolerance issues, and this is the stuff I use. So this is Adam from the Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.